G'day guys, how are you going? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're doing part two on how to set up your podcast as easily and simply as possible with some USB microphones. So if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, chuck it a like, get subscribed, that way you don't miss out on part three, and let's begin. So what I'm going to quickly do today in this video is show you our podcast setup and what equipment we have. We're gonna go ahead and look at the configuration and then the setup within the operating system of the Mac itself to actually capture the audio um, and get everything sort of dialed in. So if you have any questions about this video, leave it in the comment section, but I'll do my best to go through everything as simply and easily as possible. So with the microphones, we have two microphones here from Thronmax with the Thronmax boom arms. These aren't microphones that you have to use. These were generally uh, generously provided by Thronmax to make this video possible. And these microphones are absolutely amazing actually after getting them out of the box and actually playing around with them. I'm really, really impressed with the actual audio quality. And these boom arms are really cool as well. So if you wanna check out these particular products, you can get them from Amazon and I'll leave links to them down in the description uh, down below. Um, these are, like I said as well, USB microphones. So if you just wanna go ahead and get your podcast set up with a laptop, um, you can definitely do that. In terms of, I guess, our setup here, we're actually on our dining table and I've put like a pink throw on here because our dining table is actually made of glass. And as we all know, sound bounces off hard surfaces. So this, you know, throw, this cotton throw just helps absorb a little bit of the sound. And then what we've got is a little wooden um, top to go on top of that. And the reason for that, not just for aesthetics and you know to place the laptop somewhere, but it actually allows the clamp on the boom arm um, a little bit more, I guess, grip or a little bit more width for it to grip onto. The glass table is quite thin and the clamps don't necessarily go up tight enough because um, this is only about a 10 or 12 millimeter thick glass tabletop. So putting the wood on top of that means that the clamp has got something to properly secure against to, um, so you can you know, go ahead and swivel these around without everything sort of moving and shifting. From there, we've got the two USB cables for each microphone routed on the boom arm, and then what that's going into is we've got a USB hub here. So you don't have to use a USB hub like what I've got, um, but this is just something that I had that was on hand. And then from that, that goes into the USB port on our laptop, which is USB Type-C. If you've got a different type of laptop that just has standard USB ports, you can just go ahead and plug directly into the laptop. It will work fine either way. Now, from there, we've got the microphones um, and you're probably thinking, geez, how do I listen to the person um, that is speaking into the microphone if I wanna maybe wear a pair of headphones, which is what I would recommend. That way you're not I guess getting distracted by the echo in the room or maybe background noise. I actually find that when you've had, well, sorry, when you've had an experience with headphones on, listening to the other person speak and listening to them, it sounds a lot more intimate. Um, it sounds like you know you're really in this nice cozy environment, everything sounds a little bit warmer um, than if you're in a room like what I'm in where everything is tiles and hard surfaces and so the sounds bouncing all over the place. So to listen to each other, you wanna grab a pair of headphones, um, preferably ones, I'll just take this out quickly, preferably ones that have a headphone jack, and you wanna plug into the microphone of the person you wanna to listen to. So if I've got my headphones on and I wanna to listen to my guest in the other chair, I would actually take this over to the microphone itself, and I would plug into the microphone on the bottom here. So that way, anything that is being said on this microphone, I'm gonna be able to listen to over here and then vice versa. If you're sitting in this chair, you wanna to listen to your um, your host, you would get a pair of headphones and your guests can literally bring along any headphone that has 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So maybe the ones from their, um, from their iPhone, for example. One of our guests recently had a pair of these and preferred these rather than the big ones that go over the head. And they can actually go ahead and plug this into the microphone um, and they can listen to that person's voice through those instead. So it's really, um, I guess, up to you what kind of setup you wanna go for if you wanna to listen to each other. Now, if you want to go ahead and listen to yourself and also listen to your guests at the same time, that does complicate things and also add to the cost of your podcast. You would need to actually go out and source a mixing desk. If you wanna know more about that, let me know in the comments and we can cover that possibly in a future video. 
So now that you've got a good understanding of the microphones and the headphones and how um, they are all set up and how you can listen to each other, we're gonna go onto the computer now. I'm gonna sit down and take you through the configuration of how to actually get it all working and how to get all of your recording settings and preferences set up. Alrighty, so as previously mentioned, we are using a Mac to capture all of the audio and I guess uh, record our podcast. The Mac that I'm using is a Mac, which is I think a 2017 or 2018 MacBook Pro, Mac OS Catalina 10.15.2. Um, actually it says here 13 inch 2016, um, 2.9 gigahertz i5, eight gig of RAM. So pretty st uh, stock standard MacBook Pro. And what we'll need to do first is we'll need to fire up an application called MIDI, Audio MIDI Setup. So if you go into your spotlight um, and you just search for the word MIDI, it should come up in your preferences. And when we open up this particular application, you will see that you've got the built-in microphone up the top here, which is for your MacBook Pro, the output, which is the speakers for your MacBook Pro, and then we've got Thronmax MDrill. 01 and mdrill 02 so these are our two microphones so obviously one for each person um, for me because i know the settings of these microphones i'm going to go to the input and i'm going to make sure that the format is as high as it can go so these microphones can do two channel 24 bit with 48 kilohertz your microphones will be different so just pick the format which is best for yours and we'll do that for both microphones this is just to ensure that we get the highest quality recording out of these microphones possible. From there, we're gonna go down to the bottom left corner where it's got that little plus symbol, and we're gonna create an aggregate device. So when you create an aggregate device, on the right hand side, you will see that you've got two MDrill Zero microphones here. So we're gonna tick the first one, and then we're gonna tick the second one. And I guess just minimize the MIDI setup now and we'll open up GarageBand. So GarageBand, even though it's a very simple and basic application, it will give us all of the controls that we would need to capture the audio for both microphones. Um, I've already played around with this before and it's actually been a really good application uh, just to do something quite simple, which is recording two microphones as, as once. And it's a free application which comes with the Mac. So once GarageBand opens, you'll get the option here to create a project. So we'll do empty project and we'll go choose. And then you should get the option eventually for which type of, um, I guess, project type you're creating. So we're just gonna do track type is a microphone. And then for our input, you can see here we've got one and two and three and four. So that's because each microphone is working in stereo. So you've got left and right channel. So it's not that you have all these microphones, it's just that when you do an aggregate device, it actually goes ahead and almost splits the microphone into, um, I guess, a device with two inputs, even though they're kind of working together, hence why you've got these little circles that are linked together. So that's the left and right channel. So the first microphone is one and two. We'll go ahead and select that and press create. And then we'll go ahead and right click in the, the track area, or you can go up to track in the menu and just go new track and we'll go ahead and do three and four and press create. So from here, we've got two microphones. We can actually right click on these as well and we can rename them. So you might wanna rename it as, you know, microphone one, and then you wanna do the same thing and rename microphone two. And then, you know, on the actual microphones themselves, you might wanna put a piece of tape or something, that way everyone knows which microphone they're using. If you right click on one of the tracks, we wanna configure the track header, and then we wanna add these extra options. So track lock and rec uh, record enable. So we'll turn both of those on, so we get some extra functions here. Once we've got both of our microphones um, set up, and we've picked the correct input for the microphone, and we can go ahead and press this little red record enable button on both microphones, you can see now we're getting levels from both microphones. So when we press the record button, it's actually going to capture the audio from both microphones into both tracks. That way you can export that and upload that to your podcast site, whatever that site might be. 
Before you press record, just one special note worth mentioning is you wanna make sure that the metronome in the one, two, three, four counting is both turned off. Otherwise, when you do go ahead and press record, it's gonna capture that over the top of your audio recording, which is obviously not ideal. Um, now, during this process of making this video, what we actually did discover is we had a little bit of an issue with the, uh, I guess, USB hub that we were using. So using a dedicated USB um, adapter for each microphone um, may work out better for you, but it could just be that my USB hub um, decided today to not cooperate. So just take that into consideration and your mileage may vary. Now, the audio that you're hearing at the moment, you can see from the screen recording, is from the Thron Max M Drill Zero. We haven't touched any of the EQ settings um, at all, so that is all currently turned off. Um, and if Alexandra, she's actually on the other end of the microphone, if you wanna say something, Alexandra. Check, check, one, two. Alrighty, so we can see that both tracks are now lighting up. And on her microphone, these microphones have very, very good, I guess, noise isolation, if that's what you would wanna call it. So that way when I'm speaking, it's not really coming through her microphone. These are microphones that have a cardioid pickup pattern. So everything that I'm saying directly into the microphone is, I guess, what you're hearing and it's not picking up anything on the other side of the microphone. In part three, we're gonna be talking more about how to fine tune um, the microphone to get the equalizer sounding amazing and also talking about things called noise gates and what they do and how they work and also exporting the file for upload to your podcast site. So if you enjoyed this video and this video made sense and it was helpful, um, let me know in the comment section. Like it if you liked it, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this and I'll see you in the next video.